Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at some configuration in Bungie Cord. Now, doing file configurations is slightly different in Bungie Cord than it is in Spigot. In Spigot you have the file configuration and, you know, the YAML, but in Bungie Cord, um, like I said, it's just a little bit different. So if you guys are having some troubles, the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. And if you guys are having some more troubles, head over to our forum or our Discord for some coding help. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is creating a file is pretty much still the same. So we're just going to go ahead and say private static. Yours doesn't have to be static if you're not using it outside of this class. Um, but I am. Well, I guess we can just use it inside of this class. So we'll just say private file. And we will just call this file. Then we're going to have a, a private configuration. Oops, configuration right there. Then configuration. Okay, now that we have that inside of our on enable here, we are just going to say configuration equals configure. Oh my god, I can't spell configuration provider dot get provider. And then we're going to say yaml configuration dot class and then outside of it we're going to say load and then we are going to load our file which we haven't set as anything yet so we just gotta we gotta do that and just go ahead and surround that and try catch and yep we imported the wrong one i don't know why i thought it was that one and not this one <laughs> so make sure you import the Bungie config, not the other one that I imported for some strange reason. But we got to go ahead and set our file something. So we're just going to say file equals new file. And it's going to be data folder, comma. And we will just say um, config test.yml. Well, we'll just say test.yml to keep things simple. You know what? We'll just make this a quick little. Uh, uh, printout.yml. We'll just print stuff out to the console uh, with it. Okay, so now that we have that, pretty pretty, pretty simple. So we have printout.yml, and kind of now the rest is pretty much the same. Well, sort of. So we need to actually go ahead and say if, if file exists, we can do this. So we're gonna say if it does not exist, oops. We're gonna take that out of there and we're just gonna move that right below here. So if file does not exist, we need to go ahead and create new file. And this needs to be inside of this. So we'll just put it inside of this try catch here because it's an IO exception. Oops, not what I wanted. Okay, so if the file exists, we're going to create it. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and set the configuration equal to this, the configuration provider yml configuration and then we're going to load the file then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set some values so we're just going to go ahead and say file oops sorry not file configuration dot set and this string path would just be uh, print underscore out and we're just going to go ahead and say this configuration file works okay cool so now that we have got that we can go ahead and start using it so now what we can go ahead and say is we can say for because we're going to just read out um actually you know we'll just go ahead and make this easy we'll just say four dot one or print out dot one so we're going to say string printout equals configuration dot git string string path is going to be print out dot one and then we're just going to say system dot out dot print print out so we also have to make sure that we are saving the file and saving the file is slightly weird uh, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say configuration provider dot get provider 
it's going to be the same thing yml configuration dot class and it's just going to be save and then we're going to go ahead and save not our file but our configuration then our file okay okay everybody so i wanted to pause this video and just sort of fix everything that i did wrong um I was still in the mindset of doing it sort of the bucket spigot way and not the bungee cord way. So I want to show you guys a few changes that you need to make. So terribly sorry. Um, so what you need to do is in the file, you need to go ahead and say proxy server, get instance, dot get plugins folder, plus the file name with a forward slash in front of it. What this will do is this will make the file. Okay. It'll make the file for you. And we have right here, we have our printout file. I tested it to make sure it works. It's going to open it with Adam. Um, you guys won't be able to see that all the way up there, but it worked. Then what you need to do is that, that's, that's really it. That's all you need to do. And then change this to, you can keep it as system printout. I changed mine to get logger info. Um, so yeah, so this is the big one here. So just go ahead and change this. And then everything else should in fact work. So if we go ahead and export this. And we boot up our server here. And now uh, you can make it so it's inside of its own folder. I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to go ahead and start. Move this over here. <laughs> Keep forgetting that. And you can see here this configuration file works. So that's all I got for you guys. Sorry about the mess up. Um, you guys just got better at making bucket spigot. Um, file configurations, but this should work for you guys. I'll put it back up on the screen one more time for you guys here So this is all the code you're gonna need right here in the on enable So everything inside of the highlighted area here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video If you did be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next Tuesday Be on the lookout for an announcement video about our forum